What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm sharing five of my favorite fall fragrances. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that this video is presented in partnership with Scentbox. So this is my absolute favorite time of year Love the crisp air in the morning. Also my favorite season for menswear. And as the seasons change, we need to think about changing up the fragrance that we wear. We wanna be moving from lighter and crisper scents into something with a little bit more body and maybe some spice as well. So the fragrances I chose, I would say, are really great early fall fragrances. Great for that transition time. So let's check them out. My first pick is by Aqua de Parma, and this is Colonia Ebano. So interestingly, I can't remember when I got this bottle, maybe two or three years ago, but as I was preparing for this video, I went to look up this fragrance on the Aqua de Parma website, and I couldn't find it. I don't know if they discontinued it or not, but I see that it is still available from a few places online. If it has been discontinued, I think that's a shame because this is a really, really nice fall fragrance. So forget everything you know about Aqua de Parma and the original Colonia, this is nothing like that. Original Colonia, fresh and citrusy. Ebano is woody, it's spicy, and it's aromatic. Top notes are listed as bergamot and petit green, but I honestly don't smell those at all. Now what does come through a lot on the very first spray is pepper. And that peppery spiciness stays prominent for about the first 30 minutes or so on my skin. Uh, as it dries down, it takes on a much smoother woody scent, almost kind of a sweet wood, but not overly sweet. It's not cloying in any way. So personally, I wish the pepper would stick around a little bit longer, but overall, I really like this fragrance. I would say it has about a medium projection and a medium to long lasting staying power. Next up is B683 by Marc Antoine Barrois. Now this fragrance is leathery and woody, but a very, very elegant and refined version of those two scents. It was actually inspired by his and the perfumer's childhood memories of smelling leather, like from an attache case or a desk blotter. You know, just imagine the kind of wood paneled room that this would be in and you'll instantly have a picture of what this smells like. Now this is a leathery fragrance, but again, it's not an intense leather, it's very, I wouldn't say subtle, it's definitely not in your face. It's just like this nice blanket that kind of envelops you. Um, on the skin, it doesn't change much from the first spray to when it dries down, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. There are some people who don't like that. Um, it smells so nice that I wouldn't want it to change. So this one's new for me, I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot. I would say this has become my go-to fall fragrance, possibly on its way to becoming my quote unquote signature scent. Now from leathery to a more kind of classic spiciness, we have Musco Real Spiced Citrus. This is classified as an exotic Oriental Fougere. You have a nice combination of uh, freshness with the citrus notes and a warmth as a result of the spices and incense. This is not a super complex fragrance. Top notes are lime, coriander, lemon, and verbena. Heart notes, they say, are simply spices, and base notes are wood and incense. If you're a fan of barbershop fragrances, this is one for you, and a great fall version of a barbershop fragrance. My only gripe with this is that it doesn't last very long. You might get two hours out of it, but what a great two hours those will be. Um, this would be nice to splash on after work if you're meeting someone for drinks or a light kind of casual dinner. Next is one that I've included in roundups before. It's an all-time favorite of mine. This is Frédéric Malle's Bigarade Concentrate. This is supposedly an ode to an eau de cologne, uh, but one with decidedly more depth and spice. So right off the bat, you're hit with a wonderful bitter orange. It almost smells to me like if you've ever had a flamed orange peel as a cocktail garnish, take a second and just imagine that. And then it moves more into the spiciness, which you get from a hint of cardamom and pink pepper. And the base of this, like I said, this fragrance has more depth, is more woody, and you do get notes of cedar and a little bit of hay. This is a very long lasting fragrance, easily will last you all day long. And although it will last all day, it's not an overpowering fragrance. I really like what they say about this one on the website, the last sentence in particular and that's that Bigarad Concentrate is for those who believe that seduction is found in cleanliness and perfection. My last pick is a fragrance by Tom Ford. This is Italian Cypress. Now I have to say that I was extremely close to putting Ralph Lauren Polo Green in this roundup. It's a classic, it's a great fragrance, it's great for fall, it's great for winter, but I thought that was a little obvious. Um, so I chose something a little less obvious, but definitely something that I would put um, as very comparable 
to polo green, and that, of course, is Italian cypress. I did a quick little comparison between the two, and what I found is that Italian cypress is a little brighter, it's got more zest, it's got more punch, where I would say polo green is a little more smooth around the edges, this one is refined, but I would say also a little wilder. And I think that really sort of encapsulates the difference between the two brands when you think about uh, the brand identity. A great everyday fragrance and perfect for fall. Now remember that the way a fragrance smells is very dependent on you, your skin, your chemistry. I would always advise you before committing to buy a full bottle and investing in that, that you test out the fragrance on your skin. Going to the mall, going to a boutique and spraying on your skin, walking around and then making a determination. That's one way to do it. However, I found it's best to really sort of live with that fragrance, and that means having more than just one spray on one day. And that's where our sponsor for this video, Scentbox, comes in. Scentbox is a monthly subscription fragrance company, basically an opportunity for you to try out new fragrances every month. They've got lots of fragrances on their website. You choose two, get a 30-day supply of each in a travel size atomizer. Best part about this is that if you don't like something, you don't have to wait an entire month to get something new. You can just go ahead and exchange it for another one quickly and easily and completely free of charge. They've got great customer service and it's a great way to try out new fragrances. So those are my five picks for great fall and fall transition time fragrances. I'll list them all down below in the description. Go ahead and leave me your favorites. As you know, I love to find out about new fragrances that I haven't heard of. Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.